Let's go ahead and dive in today. The biggest story in sports right now, from from what I understand, is Major League Baseball. Is so. Let's let's figure this out. The MLB Players Association rejected the sixty game offer from the owners. So in turn, the owners have said, "Okay, cool, we're going to play sixty games." Chris, can you make any sense of this whatsoever? I don't. I don't understand. So much has happened from the time baseball started this negotiation, this dance. So many offers have been made, counter offers have been made, rejections, walking away, coming back. I have no idea. Listen, call me when you're starting. That's all. Call me when you're starting. I really don't even care how many games you're playing. Tell me, advertise out to me when the games are going to be on, where I can find them. Call me when they start. I'll be there. That's that's kind of how I feel about this. I'm really frustrated and kind of done with both of these groups, by the way. Uh, the start date appears to be somewhere around July 24th. That's that's what it looks like. Spring training. No, question is, that's a that's a spring training start date. No, no, right? spring spring training start date will be July first, but they still oh, have so to go through. Oh, so we get that start next week. Uh, yes, but Adam, hey, that's how you do some. However, we got a deal. Let's go to work. It's in the NBA thing where we have a deal. We're gonna start in a month and a half. What yeah. the? Well, I mean, ne- next week is when the NBA starts uh, training as well. So well, I understand that, but they've had their deal in place for a month and a half, six weeks. Yeah, no, that's that's true. That's true. My it was question the beginning is, of once you have the deal, why are we waiting the six weeks? Agreed. Agreed. Um, so let's let's try and, and dive through this MLB situation. Um, it says, uh, basically, the commissioner started this. It was kind of the override. This was the deal that they agreed to back on March 26th. This was the one between the players and the owners. Um the commissioner basically took the steps and said, okay, well, we're going to go back to the original agreement, and this is what we're going to do. So prorated salaries, 60 games, uh, no expanded playoff, so only 10 playoff teams. You've got the play-in game, and then you got the uh, the two-divisional series and whatever. Um, I mean, 60 games ain't a lot in baseball. You know, well, could have been a hell of a lot more than 60 had they started a long-ass time ago. Yes, agreed. Um, so the other side of this is we're – we're going to get baseball unless the players decide to strike. Do you think that that is a possibility here? I, I don't know. And I think it's unlikely. I, but I think at this point it's unlikely. I mean, the damage it, that is done to this sport right now is, I, I don't know that there's any coming I mean, they've lost three months. It. Three months they lost. They lost April, May, and June. Well, it's not even I, forget the losing months because with with sports being gone for right now with the pandemic, like it, you were going to miss some anyway. Yes, but, but you didn't have to miss all three. The the bickering going back and forth between the players and the owners, it, I think irreparably damaged the the sport in in the view of fans and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And you didn't have a ton anyway. I right? don't I don't know that anything's irreparable. I mean, if they come back and the product's really good and people are bored, people listen. So, and the reason I say it, I don't know that I agree with that is because people have missed baseball. Okay. We've noticed that it's not here. We've noticed that it's gone. Like if all of a sudden you start missing your ex, you know, it it, it ain't over forever. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're, you're right. You got a, you got a valid point. Um, All right. So, so there's other on the field changes, right? There's, we got 60 games in basically, 70 to 75 days, something like that. So it, not a lot of time, not a lot of days off, not a whatever. And you don't want teams going into 15 inning games and that kind of stuff. So uh, the MLB and the union previously agreed to adopt the minor league rule for extra innings beginning every half inning after the ninth with a runner on second base, according <laughs> to a report from USA Today. Um, it is set for only the regular season, and for now, at least for only 2020, the designated runner would be the person who made the final out in the prior half inning. Uh, the pitcher would not be charged with an earned run if that runner crosses home plate. It would be scored as if that runner reached via error, according to USA Today. Um, so, the players are going to report by July 1st. They have shut down training facilities in Arizona and Florida. I don't know what they're going to do. Um, 
It, they're, they're still trying to figure out about the Marlins, the Rays, and the Diamondbacks. Well, then you've also got the Toronto Blue Jays that who knows what they're going to do. Um, All of those teams will just find another facility in America. I mean, this is not hard. There, there are zero college facilities being used. There are zero minor league facilities being used. Yeah. If St. Louis was one of these places that were shut down, guess what? Bring your ass to Memphis. You have a facility here. Yeah. That's true. This is this is this is not a complicated thing to find out because they all own two or three minor league franchises. So they'll just go to one of their minor league franchises in, in some other state. The state of Mississippi has several minor league baseball facilities. Yeah. Yeah. Um here are the the changes that you will see. Okay. The players and other team personnel that are not participating in the game will sit in the stands separated by at least six feet. Um Celebratory contact is verboten. No high fives, no fist bumps, and uh, no hugs. The tradition of gross habits is on hiatus, so no spitting, no chewing tobacco, no sunflower seeds, etc. Uh, minimal distance between base runners, fielders, coaches, and umpires on the field will be encouraged as much as possible, which is going to be insane. Like how? And so, are we stealing bases? Are we not? Like, isn't that kind of weird? Like, no, they're I, absolutely not going to change the game. I know, but is it like a minimal distance between? Base runners, uh, fielders, coaches, and umpires. Like first base, you've got the umpire, the first baseman. Well, the umpire is a good eight feet away, always. That's uh, Michael jumps in on Twitch said this is an absolute joke. I saw a post with players that said uh, just tell us when and where. Obviously, they're both just pointing fingers at each other. Yeah, yeah pretty now, much. The players have done a really good job of making this look like it's all the owner's fault. And the owners are not blameless. They are usually the protagonist in these things. But this ain't all on them. Okay. No, you're right. You're right. Uh, It says a ball will be thrown out once it's been touched by multiple players, which is going to be a lot of baseballs. But they they Um, go through baseballs anyway. Like, literally, there are times where the pitcher will throw a pitch and the hitter doesn't like the way it looked, and they'll just throw that baseball away and grab it. Like that. Yeah, they'll have to go back and clean it and whatnot. So, yeah. All the time. Uh, post-game showers are discouraged, as will be the use of taxis and ride shares. Players will be screened for temperature multiple times per day and tested for coronavirus multiple times per week. Anyone testing positive will be immediately quarantined. Two negative tests will be required for a possible return. So, um, this is weird. This is just weird as hell. Uh, like, I think some of these things are overblown. I really do. Listen, you're outside. You don't have... I'm, I'm not going to get into the laws and rules of physics of how this stuff works, okay? You know, I just, I did, you, you can't, I, I fully understand that if me and you are sitting in the same house, breathing the same air, we need to be six feet away. And I, I agree with those rules. I don't disagree with that, all right? Yeah. But when you're outside in open air facilities, I, I just don't understand why, they're gonna we're gonna have people that are you know nine i guess it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the celebration stuff you're in dugouts with these guys you're in locker rooms with one another somebody hits a jack they're getting they're getting some love and i'm okay with that like i just want them to i want it to look like baseball if the guys go up there and all they're thinking about is germs and worry you're going to have the greatest pitching performances we've ever seen in baseball. Yeah, you've got that right. You've 100% got that right. Um, I, I guess, I mean, is that enough baseball talk? Do we need to hit on anything else with that? Nope. That's, I'm, I'm no, so call me, call me when they start. I'm done. I'm done. I told yeah. you I was done with this sport a month ago. I love these guys. I love this game. I'm always going to love it. I've just got that old man stuck mentality. It was the sport of my youth. It will never go away. Call me when they're done. Call me when they're starting to play, and I will show up. Yeah. Uh, let's jump into the chat right quick. Michael said ratings for baseball were already at a decline, right? How's this going to help anything? Uh, it's not, but I will say this. There's going to be a lot of people bored at home when this thing fires back up. So, yeah. I mean, you're, you're going to have people that want to watch. So, now you're going to have to compete with football, but we'll see what happens. I think Um, they're going to be fine, though. Here's the thing. It's really not that hard to avoid football, okay? Yeah. Monday night games, tough. Baseball plays in the day all the time. Yeah, just play day I mean, literally, Chicago is known for day baseball. That's, That's like what they do. So just don't play on Mondays, Thursdays, 
eight Sundays and, and Saturdays. That's it. And if the college football is not playing, you still have to play those day those nights. That's it. You play during the day all you want. Avoid, and if you if and you then compete, you can still have Sunday night baseball. You just know you're going to lose the ratings. But they've been they've had Sunday night baseball go against you know Sunday night football every year in August and September and October. Yeah, I mean that, so that happens. So it'll be fine. But the uh, rest of the week, the rest of the week, you'll own television. You'll own it. You got it. McKinnon have said, nine games on at once, so we can pick which one we want. That's fine. Yeah. McKinnon make said, the uh, league pass available for everybody and make your ratings go through the roof. That would be, yeah, that'd be fantastic. I'd love that. Uh, McKinnon said, hell, St. Louis could go to Springfield for that matter, which is considerably closer and where their double-A team resides. Those teams with, uh, with those issues would have zero issue finding a new residence for the yeah. time being. It's turning into a he said, she said, childish stuff. Uh, yep. Michael said... Coors Field might have to uh, get a bigger humidor for more baseballs. Yeah, I would think so. Uh, I think all of them will. Uh, ben said that players tried to play the victim with the whole win and wear thing, which is really annoying. Uh, Michael said, I'm with Chris. Shut up until you play. And he said, how many marriage problems are there going to be with the NBA, MLB, NFL, and NCAA going all week? Uh, I think about the same as usual, I would imagine, right? How many what problems? How many marriage problems? Oh. Uh. <laughs> I think yeah, it, I mean, it just depends. Yeah, you're you're already having problems with with people that are stuck at home all the time uh, when they're not used to being around people all the time, right? So, or at least not the same people. Yeah, just time. just as much as there's going to be a baby boom from this, there's also going to be a lot of divorce lawyers buying new bass boats. Okay, you got that right. You got that right. All right, let's dive off of baseball.